Ciao bedazzi, I'm in beautiful Baltimore today, County Cork, and I'm here to show you this little town, but also to tell you a story of betrayal and pirates. Baltimore is a nice little village in West Cork, a gateway to the islands of Cape Clear, Shirkin and Hare, with a long and strong history. Baltimore's original name was Dunashad, which means Fort of the Jewels, and took the name from the castle that overlooks the little harbor. Baltimore was also home to one of the oldest Irish dynasties, the Corcoloige, kings of Terra and Munster. Nowadays, it's one of Cork's biggest touristic spots, especially for the sea lovers and the scuba divers. The seabed is full of shipwrecks, including a World War II submarine. This story takes us back quite a few years, exactly to 1631, when one of the most fearsome pirates in the Mediterranean, Murat Raiz the Younger, decides to hop on his boat and yeah, sail up north and coast by Yemen Island, as you would do, right? Rice the Younger was actually a Dutchman. It was a Dutch pirate that moved to North Africa and that's when he decided to embrace the pirate life and became one of the biggest leaders of the Barbary pirates. They used to rule in the Mediterranean, cause many issues in the Mediterranean, but then one day he decides to venture north and as he went north he starts seizing boats and vassals. On his way to Ireland, he actually sees an Irish vessel, and the captain of the vessel was named John Hackett. Remember this name, John Hackett. As the pirates were approaching the south of Ireland, John Hackett told Murat Rais that mm, his plan to attack Kinsale wasn't great. Because Kinsale was very well defended. So we thought, you know what? Why don't we go to Baltimore? There's no one there, it's completely undefended. And that's what they did. and his men managed to get into Baltimore's harbor completely undetected. It was night, it was dark, the pirates stormed into Baltimore, torched the place on fire and kidnapped 107 people. The rest of the population of Baltimore started to hear the musket fire and the drums that the pirates were banging, so they were all going towards the pirates, which, you know, took enough captives, so they, they just left. Very little is known about the fate of the captives. Only three women were ransomed and brought back to Ireland, but the rest, absolutely no clue. You must be wondering now, what happened to John Hackett then? What happened to the men that suggested the pirates to storm into Baltimore? Well, he was trialed for treason and hanged in one of the clifftops that you see behind me. 